In tonight's Health Watch, flu season has arrived. 20 people have been hospitalized in our state with influenza since August 1st. Joel Hill and checking in live from the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children in Denver. Joel, that's double the cases we usually see this early. Yeah, and Jim and Karen, the Department of Public Health and Environment was quick to tell me that this doesn't mean that this year's flu season is going to be more severe, just that it's happening sooner. That means now is the time to get your flu shot. But generally from Thanksgiving to Christmas is about the earliest we typically see it. But that's not the case this year. Since August 1st, the state health department says Colorado has seen 20 people hospitalized from the flu virus, twice the average. And seeing that we're already having some sporadic cases in the state, I think the time is now for people to get protected. Now, because it takes two weeks for the vaccination to fully take effect. Dr. Julian Ornstein tells me he sees a lot of kids come to the ER every year with flu-like symptoms and that the flu vaccine is the best way to keep them out of the hospital. So I'm always absolutely uh, uh, firm. Parents should get their kids flu vaccinations and they should get vaccinated against the flu themselves. Just like last year, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is only recommending the injectable shot, not the nasal vaccine. If your kids have never gotten a flu shot, Dr. Ornstein says they'll need two, spaced four weeks apart to be fully protected. He's also recommending the fundamentals, right, Karen? These are the things that we remind our kiddos to wash your hands, and then if you cough and sneeze, to do that into your elbow. We're live in Denver. Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First. Simple, but it works, Joel. Thank you.